so now you 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 got into um it, the, the news field, right? Right. Doing graphic right. design for them, bro. KUSI. What did that what did that feel like? KUSI. Right, KUSI, which was probably the number one station in San Diego. That's right. And my good friend, the late uh, C.S. Keys, mm. who I knew from back in Pennsylvania right. when I was a re Marine recruiter in Lancaster, and he worked for the TV station Channel 8 out there. Yep. Well, we cut my hand, we run into each other. And I told him, you know, I was just going to graduate from graphic design school. And he said, they're looking for a graphic artist at KUSI. Mm -hmm. He said, I can get you the interview, but I can't get you the job. I said, I don't need you to give me the job. Just give me the interview. And I got the interview, they hired me, and that started my career in television from there. So that's interesting because often when I talk to a lot of people, I'm all about networking, right? And just right. They, I'll get you, I'll get you connected, but it's up to you to close the deal. Same thing. Right. You gotta follow through and, and really close that deal. And obviously you closed that deal with KUSI, bro. I remember I remember KUSI. I actually, I actually remember interviewing uh with them. I got I <laughs> interviewing with them one time. Sasha Fu. I remember any yes, of you. Yeah, yes. yeah <laughs> um, I'm the weekend graphics guy. That was fun, man. That was a cool job. Come on, bro. Hey, hey, I, I bet it was hard work too. Uh, just it, it, it was hard work. It didn't pay much, but the experience you couldn't, you could. It was, it was outstanding. Great, great place to learn. So, so talk about that, right? You got into the news, and, and you. So then you, you moved. You moved from San Diego and went up to the Riverside I'm County, Frank. Area, right? I'm Frank. Okay, yeah. and so you took on a new opportunity, and are you still at the same place right now? What you took? No. Off? Okay. What happened? I left San Diego for Palm Springs. They offered me a uh, managerial position mm -hmm. as an art director. Okay. Yeah. So I went there, and I was an art director for uh, a small station, but it was a big station because we had an ABC Fox affiliate, Telemundo, so we had like a lot of good stuff, and I did graphics for all of them. But while I was there. I started dabbing with motion graphics, which was I never went to school for. Right. So I started dipping and dabbing with the motion graphics. And I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. So I learned motion graphics. And then from there, I went to New Orleans. And I went totally out of my field, right? I went with another Marine who was doing cleanup after uh, Katrina. Right. So I went down there with him for a year. And uh, I was running his office for a year. And that was crazy. That was a whole different experience. And then I realized I wanted to get back in the news. And the craziest thing happened. And it couldn't only happen a miracle. This is how this happened. I was done working with him. And I had already made a decision. I wanted to come back to California. Right. So I sold all my furniture and everything I had. Because why move it back? It's the same $5,000. Yeah. So I sold it. I had my computer. because That's what made my money. And my clothes in the car. That's all I had. And I was ready to leave in three days. Right. But I said, you know what? I'm going to fly back to get me a place, and then I'll go, and I can see my son. So while I'm sitting at home, I get a call from California, from March Air Force Base, and they were looking for a motion graphic artist. Wow. And I was like, really? And they said, well, we like the interview. Well, they thought my address was still in Palm Springs. They had no money to move me. Had I changed my address, they would have never called me. Wow. So they thinking I'm still in Palm Springs. I said, well, I'm in New Orleans, but I'm coming this Friday. Right, right. So they said, well, come on down. So I come down that Friday, and me and my son Chance, we drive up to Palm Springs, and I get entered. Uh, we drive to March Air Force Base, and they hire me that same day. Wow. I'll never forget. I came in, I think we started at like 74000 Right? <laughs> I walked in the door. That's, that was the job. Now, had I never learned motion graphics, had I changed my address, had I not been flying home that weekend, I'd have never got that opportunity. But what do they say about opportunity? When it comes, you got to be what? Ready. You got to be ready for it. That's right. And I was ready. That's right. And then that's just how that's how I ended up back in California and working for the Armed Forces Television Network. You know, the other thing I think about is is what a blessing, right? Like God put that in your lap, bro. Yeah. Boom. Like He just made it happen. I, I there's oftentimes, man, when those things happen, man, I'm like. God made that happen. You were just prepared, right? Like he, he, right. he put this in front of you and boom. Yeah. I couldn't have did it. In, in a thousand years, I couldn't have planned all that to fall in place. There's no way. Right. I say that all the time. I, I, I praise, all the, I pray about that because those things that happen like that could only been happened by a miracle. I couldn't have did that. You know, that was God getting me back where my son was at, getting me back with my family and, and put me back where I wanted to be back in California, man. And that was, that was beautiful. Uh, right.
If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more directly from Kevin Davis, the full-length video, click on the videos after this show. Peace.